hi guys welcome back to my channel guys so today i am going to be teaching you guys how to make yam porridge now the method i'm going to be teaching you is not the conventional yam porridge yam porridge yam porridge well come on this is my this is like my you know ah, this is my best dish like this is one dish that if i make it for you ah, you're gonna fall in love yes you're just gonna fall in love with me it's like my favorite dish because i love yam a lot so today this is um yam so I'm teaching you guys, I added a little of that thing. So I'm teaching you guys how to make yam porridge, not the conventional way, but an exceptional way. So these are the ingredients you need yam. This is two tubers of small yam that gave me this whole thing after I cooked them. And this is four cubes of maggi. Then we need our tomato paste too, two of this. Then our garlic powder, the right spices, our curry powder, salt. This is green, vegetable, not ubu. This is green, there's a different type of leaf. This is, I prefer this to vegetable, sometimes I prefer vegetable, but come on, it depends on what I'm cooking. So this is green and it's best for porridge because it, it brings out the sauce in the porridge. So this is a mixture of pepper and crayfish that I pounded. This is onions, you don't need so much of onions in this yam porridge, you just need little enough. This is sardine, one sardine, then our palm oil. This palm oil, we're going to use it with a mixture of granite oil. And then we have our protein, this is sliced chicken. And this sliced chicken is totally optional. It depends on whether you want to spoil yourself or not. So these are the basic ingredients. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 ingredients. This is an 11 ingredient dish that we are going to prepare right now. So I'm going to walk you guys through the whole thing. So basically, first we are going to get a clean pot. I'm going to put it under this tank because I've already washed this. You can see I've already washed it. So I'll just put it in the pot and put enough water and then once I put it in the water, put it in the water. once I put it in the pot and put enough water I will be able to parboil it and this parboiling takes close to seven to eight minutes depending on the heat you're using sometimes my gas actually takes me like 10 minutes to parboil the yam and it also depends on the type of yam you're parboiling so guys, we're going to parboil this for 7 to 8 minutes. Okay guys, while our yam is on fire, we are going to do something very tricky and nice right now. So, you see this beef that we have sliced? This chicken is like three pieces of chicken, like a lap, one lap of chicken here. I did it without the bone. So, you're going to take one cube of maggi. You're going to sprinkle it on top of it like this I'll tell you why we are doing this you sprinkle it on top of it like that then you take your salt as you can see and then you just put little not so much you put the little then you take just your curry you don't add the garlic powder you just add your curry and you open it then you put just the little too now the essence of doing this is a tiny onions, like just tiny, and then you mix it. You mix it like this. You mix it like this. Now the essence of doing this is this chicken is not going to get fried. It's going to be um, okay. It's going to get fried when we are trying to fry these spices. By the time we put the palm oil and the rest, so it's not going to get really really fried like fried chicken fried chicken so what we have to do now is properly spice it up so that when you're eating it you still get the feeling of a properly fried chicken so you just mix the mixture you know make sure it has mixed up very well so that it's be able to enter the body of the chicken and then you probably you cover it that you cover it with something uh, just to cover it with my my so so apart from that what we are going to do next now is, you know, just sit and wait for the next eight minutes for our yam to get ready. Okay, guys, it's been approximately three minutes, 30 seconds since our yam was on fire. And let's see if it's doing well. Oh, yes, it's boiling. So at this point, you add salt. And let's say one soup spoon is enough but let me not say i'm a professional but i know the adage i'm supposed to use so this is one two 
I get to know how much of this salt I'm supposed to put inside here. Not so much because if your yam becomes too salty or your own, your own, that guy you're cooking for is going to send you out of the house. So you have to be careful. So that is enough. It's enough to make the yam get all the salt that it's meant to. And the tricky thing to do, eh, as a lady, the tricky thing to do when you're in this situation is by the time you put the salt, I know some people might not like this method, but by the time you put the salt, you test the water to see if it's salty enough. Like mine is salty, I just tested the water now. If it's salty, like if you could feel the salt, because yam water is not salty. But if you could feel a little bit of salt, then you know that you've added enough. To be on the safe side, you could add just one soup spoon. Just one soup spoon of maybe just half of this, like half of this. You add salt that is half of this and then you're good to go. So that is what we've done for last three minutes, 30 seconds, almost four minutes. So we have extra four to five minutes to wait for the yam to get soft. Okay guys, it's past eight minutes. This is like nine minutes and it's time for us to bring down our yam from the fire and filter it. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to reduce it actually. And then I'll take this and I'll filter it here. Woo! That was hot. Okay, so the next thing we do after doing this is to put the pots on fire. Reduce the heat, so that's it. While we've put that in, the first next thing we do is to put in little salt, pinch of salt, like <laughs> you can see, and then turn your pot like this, and then you put in your onion. Like I said before, we are going to be frying our chicken, right? Hope you remember when I said that. So this is the point where we add our chicken to so let it fry. Yes, that is the point. Ah, more protein. Like I said before, this protein is totally optional. <coughs> this protein is totally optional. So you just put it like that and let it fry. At this point, do you add the sardine oil and the sardine? First, sprinkle the oil on the chicken and then you add the sardine. You have to break the sardine inside. So, we're going to do the pieces in inside. Hey guys, remember Mr. Spatula? <laughs> My favorite nigga in this kitchen. I was even cook almost everything for us. You just need to do it easier. So you just keep stirring so it doesn't burn. Just keep stirring. The chicken is absorbing the oil and getting fried as you can see. You can see the fried there. So we're going to let this fry. We cover our pot. Let's fry for like two, three minutes. My god guys, this is just so nice. Like this is fantastic. I just tasted the chicken and it's just going well. So now the next thing we're going to add here is our tomato and crayfish. I have to mix the crayfish with the tomato because I'm adding them at the same time. So there it goes. So we're going to have to mix it up and add it here. So while you've added that, it's there. You have um, fried chicken in your meat, or maybe already cooked meat and you want to add, then you don't need to add the meat now. The reason why I'm adding the chicken at this point is because you know you need to be fried, and not just put the chicken like that and then you put other spices and everything. So, guys, the next thing to add is our spices. 
curry, just brown like this. And then we put a little of our garlic powder. We have to cook water fast because it's crispy. And then we pour water. Now, you know the yam is already soft. So the water you're putting is the amount of sauce you need in the yam. Not, um, there's this method I saw a friend of mine do. What she did was to cook the yam and then add, she filtered out some water and then she, she just started making the spice ramen. Yeah. Turned out terrible. So at this point, you have your mind. So, the water you're adding to carries the amount of sauce you need. And this is my house, uh, this food that I said is the most healthy. So, the amount of sauce they need is basically so much. So, I have to still add a little water at the end of the day. I'll still have to add water at the end of the day. So, it's like they're electric. By the time I add water, I let it boil, and then I'll put our yam, and it's good to go. So guys, the next thing we are going to do now is to add our yam that we have in there. So I'm taking the yam from the base now, and I'm adding the sauce that we need. You just have to be careful about it because it's sticky. And then while we add the yam, we try to place it in the sauce. You can see the yam is so much smaller. This one is family with it. So you try to place it in with the sauce by doing this. You just try to bring up the yam. Try to bring up the yam like you're stirring it. You see why I say it's fat like this? If you are doing this with the spoon, by now your yam will be breaking and then the plantain too will be sticking. So we just do it this way. As you can see, all the things that we put on that are coming up. Now, if you want to add more water, like I said, I was doing this, this is the best time to add it so that you know how much you're going to be needed. So, I'm going to add a little water now. And with this little water, I'm going to add a little salt because I have a fight with you. You do like the sauce, just a little of that. And then a little of the garlic powder, very tiny. And then I'll continue my stirring. The adding of water is optional. And then, if you're the kind of person that likes it thick, I don't advise you to add water. But because I'm cooking for multitude, I'm multitude in this house, because I'm cooking for multitude, I have to add enough water so that the sauce can go around to everyone who takes a bite of this mine. Mm, are you perceiving it? My God looking very sumptuous. So at this point, we'll just let it be and it'll stay for like two minutes so that the sauce can, the yam can absorb the sauce. Our sauce is, our sauce is bubbling guys. So while we let it stay, oh my God, just look at this. Can you resist this? I don't know how you can, no, because I, no, you see that part of people usually ask on social media, if you want to date yourself. You think you like to date yourself? If myself can cook like this, oh no, I'm married straight up. I won't even waste time. So at this point, we are going to add our green. That's the vegetable. Now, don't get me wrong. Green is not the only vegetable that can be added to this sauce to make it and for its health benefits. You could add curry. You could add celery. You could add spinach. You could add them. Um, carrots to this you could add sweet corn there was a time I prepared this meal with sweet corn and it turned out fantastic so while we added this we just try to blend it in with the sauce I'm going to send you guys a picture of this you won't believe you won't believe how amazing by the time I send you guys a picture you're gonna be drooling all over your phone you're gonna be licking your screen <laughs> anyways guys we are close to the end of our video because at this point our food is ready oh god just look at this sauce just, just see just see just see 
I have lots of my friends that I prepared this food for in Enugu and they were like, Biki, Biki, you want boss bread? And I'm like, ah, my dear, I don't have a choice though. So guys, while we've done that, we took our gas off. See, the is still bumping. To show you that, the sauce is not joking with you. <laughs> We're done cooking, guys. And this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys learned a lot from this. And truth be told, this is like... The best way to cook yam porridge. It's not as easy as the conventional way of boiling the yam, adding crayfish, and doing everything at once. It's not as easy as that, but trust me, this is tastier than that because you get to spice up your food. You get to get the opportunity to add things that you ordinarily love to add, things like sweet corn, carrots, vegetables, all those things. You get to add them through this method. So if you've been looking for how to make the perfect yam porridge, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so that you can get the next video. I'm wondering what the next video is going to be. I'm afraid maybe I'll be teaching you guys my secret. Plantain pepper soup. Plantain pepper soup that I took from my father and he was like, bring down to My papa that was on diet told me bring down to <laughs> Anyways guys, see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like. Yes, okay.